a bit more of a boat tour. Um, it's this amazing Benetti IJE 108 meter yacht. I think it's modeled one to one scale. Um, if we go back and look at the images here, you'll see it looks really good. When I show you the real one, you won't believe how close the, the craters got to the real one here. And it's got a bunch of really interesting things like a tender garage, uh, a bunch of tenders with it, um, a gym there. Uh, right on the water side, uh, some really cool features. And I think it's got a lot of the features of the actual yacht. You can see the modeling is just really good and loads of detailed blocks. Um, yeah, so this is from uh, Zephyr's workshop. Zephyr, if you look at it, has a lot of large yachts. Palmer Johnson here. These are all real world yachts. And just to show you how good this is compared to the real world one. Um, yeah, there we go. There's the real world one. And it's got a few kind of features. Uh, the crane at the front, the two tenders, big long bulbous bow, those windows. Uh, this little kind of um, shape here is very Benetti. It's kind of a signature of Benetti. Uh, and if you go back to Stormworks, you'll see that um, if I go to this view, pretty much all of those design elements are, are in there. So it's, it's really stunning. Um, yeah, so this is a big yacht. Uh, ah, so it's very true recreation of the real thing. If you look here, they've actually got the the gym here on the side with that roll down thing. It's, it's absolutely stunning. So wait to see the Stormworks creation is fantastic. So great work there. Um, it's a very large one. So usually what that means is you have to spawn it in uh, using this add on editor it used to be called the mission editor. Um, you don't need to save this, you just need to pick a place where you want to spawn it in. So I usually pick this terminal spy cakes because it's always in the same place in the map. Um, and then you do edit objects. Um, you can move around with your middle mouse. Um, if you have the keys there, right mouse, middle mouse wheel um, is how you move around the map. You bring in a vehicle, uh, go to your workshop and then pick in uh, anything you want there. Double click. It's taken a while to load because it's a big model so you can see my loading there uh, and then yeah I'm just gonna plop it in um, click on it again that gives me my edit um, compass here or gizmo I'm gonna switch it to rotate I'm just gonna bring it in something like that uh, and that's enough um, you can go back to that list there you can press test location and what that will do is it will spawn that into your world that you're playing um, now this is where it gets tricky because every seed creates a slightly different map um, so yeah I've got this physics warnings here and yeah actually I was in the right place so you need to go out and find your place I think a lot of the islands change on the seeds but this large island is more or less the same configuration wherever it is and this terminal spy cakes is at the end of the runway there so uh, my vessel is Sorry, not a waypoint. It's just off the pier here. You need to kind of get to learn these locations. Um, so let's do a fly around first. So as you can see, the design of it is very, very, very accurate. One to one representation of that, the real yacht with a lovely fairing and smoothing going on uh, and really got the shape of those decks beautiful. Um, it's a bit trickier at the front. It's just not enough blocks to get completely smoothly fared in, as you can see there, uh, but it looks stunning. So we'll do a little flyover like this. So you've got the two tender garages, um, bridge deck, owner's stateroom, and a whole bunch of things in here. So we're gonna start from the back, just like a real tour. Um, so now that I've spawned it in, um, you might be able to hear that. I've got some desktop, um, sounds going in. There's a generator on it which is running pretty much uh, full time and that generator basically makes sure all the lights are going. It's kind of noisy. I've got a sound mod in so it might not sound like yours um, but I'm going to start the tour downstairs here um, and I know this vessel a little bit now. Um, so we this is sort of entrance to your beach club here. You've got a couple of seats probably you'd have uh, I don't know, if my, maybe this is, yeah, these look, these are showers here. So this is where you'd shower after swimming in the sea. Um, we'll put some of the lights on here as we go in. And then this is the fitness center you can see here. So uh, a few machines, which is really creative the way 
uh, Zephyrus here modeled all of these things just from engine components. Uh, I really appreciate that creativity. It really looked like fitness machines. I can even sit in that, do my workout. Um, as you can see here, there's some small windows that go out the side. Uh, I'm a bit stuck now. Let me just initially. jump and uh, so little tiny windows here but the thing that you would do in this one in real life is you'd put your sea terrace out. I think we should call these terrace on the sea or sea terrace um, you probably wouldn't hear that generator noise it would be you know in a very sound proofed part of the vessel it would be probably just in front of this this area with no windows probably the machine room uh, which ah, we may have access to no, it doesn't look like it. Machine room, maybe it's below this actually. Um, then a vessel this kind of size. Let's just have a double check. So I do see, aha, I do see a door here, which I haven't seen before. Uh, sauna, look at that. Sauna, a little heating element. Nice. Um, yeah, sorry about this generator noise as we move out through the vessel, get a bit quieter. Um, I think it runs at full speed just to get it charged up and then it will go down. Um, yeah, so in here, this is the tender garage. Um, we've got a door opening here and then we can unload these boats here. Now, let's try this. So, that slides out. All of them. So yeah, you've got a nice big garage in here, ropes to tie these on, and oh yeah, even some tie-ons here, so I would bring those, the crew would bring those boats in and tie them up here. You've got all the kind of water sports toys you would want in this rack here. This goes back to that lobby uh, where we came in, the beach terrace, and I'm going to try and unlaunch these. So there's that one there that disconnects them all. Uh, this is all done through scripting, timing, all this stuff, this automated stuff. You've got to do the mechatronics, so the sliders and all the kind of things that make it work as a mechanism, and then you've got to script it so that it's timed nicely. And uh, this is a really amazing creation there. Uh, unbelievable that a game exists with this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so these would be the cabins uh, for the guests. Um, not all of them are modelled, uh, but these are kind of typical guest staterooms here. So there's a double. Um, let's get the lighting on here. Um, there is some custom lighting, as you can see there. Uh, my mouse is not on the right settings, right? right? Just trying to fix my mouse DPI. You see you've got some lights there, his and hers. Uh, bathroom, by the looks of it, a TV. Sorry, I need to change. Yeah, that's it. That allowed me to scroll with less movement of the mouse. Um, so yeah, you've got the same on the other side here. You've got that nice view through these big windows. These are not the biggest windows. Um, very impressive decoration. You can see here there's custom paintings all the way out through here. Um, and I believe this is a similar layout Oh yeah, this just goes into that twin, uh, and I guess you could have this as a family room or, or join them together. So that's the twin on the other side. We've got a fully working elevator. Um, let's see what we've got here in the rest of this part of the ship. So these are, um, yeah, watertight doors that go out on the side. So probably if you're in a low pier or a jetty or something like this, or you wanted to load it from a, a, a supply, um, tender you could load it up that way we've got stairs to go up here i'm going to use the lift so let's go up to the main deck so that was what you call the lower deck usually where you've got um crew cabins some of the smaller cabins main deck will go to the aft here and i'll walk forward again so you can hear that um generator again so sorry about that it's just my mod has made that a bit louder uh, 
unbelievable. So we have a pool uh, which you can actually fill with uh, water here. So these um, Stormworks, of course, has got all of the piping and connections and things like this that allow you to move fluids around, fuels or liquids. You can see here the pool is actually filling up slowly. Um, it's just some kind of shading that goes on. Uh, but that is absolutely awesome. So we we'll fill the pool up there using a pump. That's why our generator is on. I have to probably jump and crouch to get out of here. I'll we'll go this way. Uh, and I'll just turn that off. So awesome fillable pool. Um, yeah, dining area, large dining area here with a kind of bar, I guess, to the side, more seating areas for lounging. Generally, this is the eating area. Let's just have a look at that. I don't have the web page up anymore, but um, the real vessel has the similar arrangement with a large dining table at the back. Custom chairs made out of windows, beautiful. Um, yeah, so then you've got large saloon area here with port and starboard areas, uh, very creatively made, beautiful, you know, wood paneling here, wood ceiling, wood flooring, marble here done with, um, you know, pixel pixel art. Again here, amazing decoration going on. This is a absolute labor of love. Um, if the creator ever sees this, I would love to, to talk to you just about how you've built this. Um, so yeah, this is the, <coughs> the area around the elevator again. Usually very fancy, lots of glass. We've even got a custom wall design here. Uh, yeah, well, this goes down the side deck uh, all the way to the aft again. And we will, let's see what we've got around here. Can't remember. Yeah, so back into crew cabins. This is probably a corridor that takes you back out the other side. Yeah, this is actually a beautiful area. We'll get the feel. Yeah, the light is streaming in here. That's gorgeous. Um, lighting, I assume. Um, I assume, ooh, haven't been here before. So this looks like potentially an office space. Very nice. I haven't seen that space at all. Loads of custom decoration. And again here, ah, massage bed, recognize this. So this is probably your spa area where you can come to relax and get some treatments. Is this the same? Yeah, this, I'm not too sure what this is, but we'll have to look up the real vessel to see what these spaces are. But stunning. Um, again, is this a small bedroom, a small double bedroom perhaps? Looks like it. Um, and that would probably be a bathroom. So beautifully decorated guest rooms, smaller ones, I would say but they've got these nice full length windows here. So you've got a fantastic view. Um, keep going forward and more, yeah, more guest cabins. And this is gonna be on either side as well, pretty sure. Um, so up here, more lighting, a dinky little boat model. I love that, look at that, it's absolutely tiny. Um, and again, some more guest cabins along these beautiful windows. So. Um, if I can find a seat, I'll go outside again and you'll see um, how these big windows look with the lights on. It looks quite stunning. So this is the main deck. It goes no further forward because you'll see why later. You've got the, the tenders here. This, as far as I remember, will take us back around to the elevators. And we'll go up to the upper deck, probably the bridge deck, or owner's deck, and then the bridge deck. So you can see there, the scripting for this elevator is really nice. It moves at a very sedate, kind of realistic speed. Upstairs, usually in this size of yacht, just more seating, more places to eat, watch TV. Um, in a size a yacht this size, you know, you're probably going to have a large, quite a large groups of people who may want to separate. You can see our pool down there. You can hear our generator again. Um, that's a lovely place to sit, I'm sure, in the real one. Uh, really nice here pixel art from the photographs there I'd love to know what they used to do that um, lighting again here 
This will be a door out to the outside, so you've got a full walk around deck on this upper deck. This takes you forward to a nice reading area, as far as I remember. We we'll probably have the same on the other side, so large chairs. Oh, no, maybe not. Let's have a look. What's on the other side? All right, so it's this kind of wiggly corridor system. It takes you eventually back to the same uh, lobby area in the center of the ship. And then up here, this should be the owner's um, room. So yeah, we've got very large his and hers bathroom with plenty of space to walk around here. Shower, large bath, and then the same on the port side. I guess it's got a walk around here into shower as well. Uh, beautiful. Again, really good use of the blocks here to... That's a booster. <laughs> Great. You get to see other names. And then this should be the owner's cabin. So this is gorgeous wraparound windows, as you can see there. Decorative bed. Um, that's actually got some curtains modeled. What do we have here? Just some decoration. Ah, pop-up TV. <laughs> wow, with an, with an animated aquarium. That's awesome. Nice little Easter egg. Um, yeah, so more comfort. And I guess the main show is the ability to walk out here into this beautiful forward deck here and then pretty much privately to yourself to just wander along the front here so we've got two very large high-speed tenders here um, oh yeah this one's gorgeous with a windscreen that's a worthy of a, a sea trial unto itself uh, I've got a hatch here let's just go down here so it just take us to this space around the uh, the tenders here, so it would be very tight in real life. This is a nice plum bow I can see here, it's a straight bow. And this one is a bit more traditional. Um, so yeah, you can walk around the tenders here, something there, not too sure. We'll climb back up, so the crew get to do all that climbing around. Um, and then we've got a button here. Yeah, look at that. It's actually that walkway becomes a crane. That is awesome. And I assume that, yes, so I'm now controlling the crane. That's awesome. back and, then this, and there's a camera from the crane and then it goes back hopefully there. maybe I needed to reset that so yep I'm gonna have uh, trouble closing this let's see yeah, so it needs to be set in a very specific position to close. And I'm not going to troubleshoot this just now. So I think these are working tenders. Uh, that's an awesome idea. Probably just needs a reset button. Um, absolutely amazing that it's been designed like the real one. And then we have a little secret staircase here. Takes us up um, to the bridge. So this, I'll do a unusually go front to back so these seem to be uh, sort of navigation spaces um, in the back here and then we've got the bridge area here nice and dark um, we'll put some lights on so we've got a navigation table um, maybe we've got some lights yeah we've got some lights there uh, navigation table lots of dark materials these are probably lights yeah um, and then a nice bridge station here. Um, we'll come back to that. We'll take her out for a spin. Uh, yeah, again, another area here, which again, we can. I assume I can bring up navigation screens, but typically behind the bridge here, you'd have a, a space for the captain. Yeah, so we've actually got a captain's cabin here. Very nice, right next to the bridge. That's probably where it's located with our own TV. Some custom lighting, lovely. Again, custom art 
probably copied from the real one. I'm going to go and check that. I bet that's in the real one. Uh, and again, you've got these very useful side doors. So you can go out a big vessel like this. You probably have to spend quite a lot of time outside uh, when you're doing docking maneuvers. Um, so I love those side doors. That's a very nautical thing. Um, small reading area here behind the bridge. Uh, passengers typically like to come up to this part of the vessel. You get a good view, get to see around. Um, again another a third deck of lounging area um a real one probably with very expensive paintings artwork carpets and all these kind of things uh, but again great job by the creator here got some curtains uh, some more lights here let's just get the lights on lighting also important on a yacht and then this is just the top deck yeah, final deck of sun lounging space. Um, I am going to go up here. Let me just cheat a little bit and have a look. So we've got a top deck here, some safety equipment. Um, yeah, typically to have here your antennas and all these kind of things. Working radars, look at that. Spinning around at high speed. And yes, this is the atrium, the glass that looks down into the elevator. And there are actually some seats up here. So I think the real yacht must have some kind of access uh, to get up here. Uh, probably, ah, this one has too. So we have a little stair. Wow, that's great. That goes only from the outside. So again, I'm very curious to see if that's the way the real one's been arranged. If the person has had some access here. It's awesome, that arrangement of stairs to get upstairs. Uh, onto the top deck. So that's it in terms of a tour. Now let's go, if I'm not completely lost. Um, let's take her out. Ah, so I am lost. That is the deck below where I wanted to be. So we, we did come down there one deck. Back up to the bridge. Um, I'll save you that pain of me finding it again. So that is just the home button if you want to know um, how to do that. Left and right anchors, nicely marked, port and starboard, a horn, warning siren. Uh, we can turn the displays on. Um, I'm not too sure what else we've got here. I think we've got these cameras. Let's watch out the bow. And it looks like I can just go here. So I'm going to press W. Yeah, there she goes. So, yeah. It's essentially silent, like a yacht should be. There'd be loads of sound in insulation on the real yacht. There we go. So look at her with all her lights on. Fantastic. Isn't that a beauty? So it wouldn't be a sea trial unless I hit the end button and did uh, a little bit of wind. Put up to 50. I can see so big that the Stormworks waves they just don't affect her at all. So let's just go straight up to full wind. Let's see what kind of stabilization she's got in. Yes, I noticed that Zephyr's yachts have some kind of amazing magical stabilization system and they literally don't move. Uh, yachts do have stabilizers and all sorts of things, gyros and things like this, to make it comfortable for the guests, especially the bigger ones. Um, but, yeah, I'm not too sure <laughs> what's going on here that, that makes this yacht so stable. So she's not one for realistic physics. Um, but absolutely beautiful in terms of the design there. I really like that how the proportions and lines come across, even though it's built out of blocks. Uh, it's an absolute masterpiece. Um, day for if you're watching. So yeah, that's the Benetti 108 meter. Um, very large custom yacht but built by Benetti. It's an Italian company uh, building large custom yachts like this, and they do a sort of semi-custom line of. Um, Aluminium, glass fibre yachts, even I can't remember, they have uh, several different brands. Uh, but 
some of the best, probably built the most yachts in the world. They're kind of like the mass production yacht builders of the world. But of course, uh, when we talk about yachts here, it's not like mass production of cars. They're all absolutely made to the highest standards. So that's it from today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers for now. Oh, final thing I've got to do. It's a good test. Let's so put her on night time. See how she looks. So all the lights are just automatically on. Look at that. She's glistening away there. Beautiful lights. I forgot to turn some lights off on the, on the aft deck there. Beautiful. That's all from me. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.